In Eleanor, we um, have introduced custom fields. Uh, these are data fields that you can create and track on properties, reservations, guests, uh, and companies. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and also um, give you some ideas about how it can be useful. Anyone who's a settings manager will be able to see mission control. So check your profile. When you go into mission control, you can search for custom fields or you can go and find it under marketing. Custom fields, manage custom fields. In here, you can edit or create. So if we look at these custom fields and creating them is very simple. You have a name, a description, and then you choose three different types. String means you type whatever you want. Checkbox is yes or no. And options is the options that you determine. So for example, bronze, silver, gold. Or if it was pillow types, for example, like pillow types. Then we might have um, soft, medium, and hard. We separate these by column, commas. And that will create options. Or the alternative is, if, for example, you were going to ask, uh, you were going to track whether people were VIP, like very important, then you might just have checkbox yes or no, and you assign that on a person level rather than a reservation level. If you were collecting, for example, car registration plates, then you would have that as a string. You might use a regex. That's something which allows you to be able to check the data being put in is correct. So for example, it's seven digits if it's UK. You can search for regexes. It can be very helpful if you're collecting, for example, flight information to make sure that people put the information in the right format. Um, so here, so it's a string and that would be on a reservation level, most likely. Then you have to choose uh, whether it's going to be just internal, i.e. just in the system, or it's also going to be available in the booking engine and online check-in. You can also make it mandatory, i.e. people have to complete it. And you can also determine if it's a unique field. Uh, unique fields can be used with merging guest profiles and, and other things such as search. There are many things that you could use this for. Particularly, you could be collecting dietary preferences for example, which would be useful to know before people arrive, especially if you have uh, your work doing the food and beverage. And that's the kind of thing that you would either have an option or you'd allow people to say what they define themselves as, and you'd save it on a reservation level or possibly a person level. What can be also useful is to track things internally or to show externally. For example, you might want to track the floor that the room is on and you would do that by um, string and you track that on a property either on a property uh, type or an individual property itself i.e the room and you probably just have that as internal on properties you can also track um, arrival or departure times arrival or departure information you can track wi-fi information so i'm going to show you how these things look uh, throughout the system so if we were to go to a reservation so let's take a reservation in eleanor this guest here and I go to edit booking here we can see under more details we've got various things that you can track on a reservation basis so we could say yes they're going to have daily housekeeping and cleaning we could track a flight ID yes they want less towels by the way it's a double um, and uh, this guest in particular they required picking up from the airport and also here's their dietary preferences we can save that we can also view these things when we view the booking so you can see the things that have been completed are showing here under view booking Information can also be tracked and saved on a guest level. So if here I go to guest and more details, then we have some things here like VIP, business versus leisure. These are all custom fields that have been created. 
so you can track and save any information that you want. You can also, if it's been set up, save customized information against the company. So here we don't have any customized information that's been saved, otherwise it would show here under more details. Just like we saw in reservation and guest profile. So you could be tracking additional um, accounting information or additional person contacts or email addresses, anything that you want or need. Then when you create custom fields uh, on a property level, you can track them on an, on an area level. So here, for example, on say this building, which happens to be a hotel here, we've got the arrival and departure times and the Wi-Fi information because the Wi-Fi information is across the whole hotel. So you can create and track any fields that you want here on a property level. We also, if we go into the individual rooms here, we're not tracking anything on that room type, but if we go into the actual specific room itself, so room one of the double at the hotel, then we can see we're tracking the size of the room and also the floor. So you can choose whatever information you want to track or save here. This information can then be included in templates to be communicated to guests. It's also very helpful for staff. So for example, if I click on unit 22 here, 222 here from the calendar, and I go through and the staff wondered, the staff member wondered how large is the room? You can see here we're tracking it. We've also got the access information, what floor it's on. So you can use this for internal communication, internal help. You can also use it externally, i.e. Um, to give to guests as part of a template or um, uh, to use other touch points. So all of these custom fields allow you to collect and track information which is useful to you. These can also be used within the booking engine. So if I do a quick search here, I'm just gonna go through this to the final page. You can see here that we've got some which we've made as available public. So if I was to go ahead and make a, uh, a reservation here, I'm collecting some information on the reservation level and also on a guest level. And I can still go through and complete my reservation as normal. This information will then sync into Eleanor and you can see it on the reservation and in places like the arrivals list.